Okay, round two. Keeping this hand. I think we're going to go scab into thief. Uh oh, Kothafed's gone. Alright, so we offer trade, and then we'll play the thief. All right. Um, I think we go Shadows of the Past. But I don't want to trade a Jesse and Thief for a Cleric, so we're just going to cast Shadows of the Past. Swing with the Scab. And then play Starfish. All right, I'll take it. Okay. Now we just play Water Courser and pass. Um, Shambling Ghoul, can't block. Definitely don't want that guy to get renowned. I think we're going to bottom that. Shaman's good. So, I can't read the bones plus Shaman, unfortunately. So, we're just going to Shaman and pass. Guess I could have swung with Screeching Scab there.
All right, Zendikar's Royal is a pretty good one. So I guess, yeah, we'll top that because Disciple seems like something we want to kill. Um, let's read the bones first, though. Hopefully get a black mana. So top two lands, yeah, I guess so. I mean, we're going to have to cast El Merit. at some point. So we'll do this. Problem is even a 3-5 can't really swing into enough guys here. But let's scry. All right. We can bottom that land. We I have a feeling we're going to see another land. So swing with the 3-5 he triple blocks. If I swing with all three, he would still have to triple block. But I think, well, I do only have two creatures in my yard. That's okay. We're going to chill out. We have Shadows of the Past. We have Alhamerit. Granted, he's got Zendikar's Royal, but we can block. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate for us. And good for him. So let's figure out uh, how we beat this fellow. It seems pretty difficult. I think we're taking five here. Don't really like it, but it's a tough spot to be in. Not much else to say about it. So if I put a Screeching Scab on top, yeah, I th think we do, because then I can at least triple block his Knightly Valor guy. And lose everything. <laughs> but I guess it's still a three for three, so... Mill two lands, okay. Yeah, it's not exactly what I wanted to see. trying to think what's better here because I honestly don't know um, am I supposed to try and kill his other guys or do I have to kill this now you know I, I honestly don't know the answer to that um, mostly because it's a difficult question I guess we kind of have to take out a 5-5 five five that taps things down it seems a bit too good. Like I said, we do lose everything, which is not good. Typically not good. As, uh, <laughs> the problem is Alhamerit doesn't really do much here. <laughs> it really doesn't. I mean, I guess I 
guess I have to. Um, and then double block. And then double block a Sky Snare Spider. And take six. So I can't even do that. Is that right? He attacks a spider, I double block it, I block one of these, I take lethal. So, land doesn't actually get me out of this? Or, I guess that means I just have to chump a spider and then I can eat two guys. Okay. Still think we leave it on top. It just means I can't do the block I, I want to do. Can't quite trigger that Shadows of the Past. So we have to chump block and then we can at least eat a couple guys. Although I probably want my starfish. Just trying to think if Starfish does enough here, or if I just want to chump it now. I feel like it doesn't. Is that right? Is it wrong? I honestly don't know. I'm going to chump because I just feel like Starfish is not enough of a ticket back into this game. Whether that's right or wrong kind of remains to be seen, but it's just the impression I get. So Dead Bridge Shaman, again, we definitely take lethal because I'm going to one. So we're going to have to find better than that, I think. Actually, yeah, I think. Because I can't draw that and use Shadows of the Past, so okay. I think even using Shadows of the Past at this point is presumably not enough. Oh, choose that opponent. Well, I think that's going to have to... Well, we still die, though. Is there any? Basically, is there anything I can draw that could possibly bring me back in this game? Because, yeah, I mean, if a claustrophobia is not doing it, is there anything? And I think the answer is no. Right? I mean, I'm willing to look through... But let's see, I draw this. I don't have enough lands to use Shadows of the Past. I lock down Sky Snare Spider. I take lethal on attack. So Claustrophobia doesn't do it. Um, land doesn't do it. Ghoul doesn't do it. Land doesn't do it. Um, disperse, I can go block, bounce, pump, and I still take lethal, even with Shadows of the Past, pump, right, bounce, Sky Snare Spider, block, guess we'll just make him attack, although I'm the one behind on the clock, but that's okay. Okay. So, sideboard. Um, maritime guards for little guys. Touch of moon glove for big guys. Necromantic summons again. Probably not. Um, 
I think we're geared about as good as we can be geared. All right, gonna have to mulligan. This one will keep. I think we're going to Reeve Soul here. So we can't double block. He can in Trouting Mist, but. Hmm. I mean, see, th here's the question. Here's the real question. And this is an important question. Did he just tap that white to make me think that he has an enshrouding mist? Or did he tap that because he actually has an enshrouding mist? I'm going to play it safe. But he may have just uh, mind gamed me and if he did he did an amazing job All right, well, I'm not drawing land, so I think we're just going to attack into a combat trick, sadly. Well, I guess not now. Still have his enshrouding mist up too, which kind of sucks. But I can't, I can't block. So if I can't block, I kind of have to attack. So, um, I guess we dump a Shambling Ghoul. That way I can actually block if he attacks again. Since I'm really not winning this race.
So combat trick that I'm not going to play around. Alright, take an absurd amount of damage. Yeah, so the main issue with playing Screeching Scab here is uh, I don't have any good blocks. It it just gives me no good blocks. Because I won't have a blue mana, so I can't block either of his guys. So I guess technically I could play Screeching Scab. I really don't see a great reason to do that. A super compelling reason to play Screeching Scab here. I think we're better off trying to trade off our guy for an alpha or a cleric of the forward order, I guess. Still don't have a play. So I guess the play is if he attacks with everything, I bounce the alpha and then block. Hope he doesn't have a combat trick. So, Jesse and Thief can't block anything. Screeching Scab can't block anything. Guess we'll play the Thief. Makes better use of mana. Read the bones. Read the bones. So I guess we're dead? Maybe I should have attacked, but I don't know what that would have done either. We'll, uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the finals.